There is something magical happening right now. It's so windy. She's letting those babies climb all over her. This might be the cutest. I've never seen her allow this, ever. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to disrupt her, but oh my gosh, Oki's coming over. <laughs> Those are wettest babies. This is the sweetest thing. Oh my gosh. She's getting a little back massage. Gurney's all like, that's usually my job actually, to massage her back. And oh no, here comes jealousy. Oh my God, y'all, this is the sweetest. Hi, Oki. Hi, Annie. <laughs> I'm trying to block the wind to reduce the noise out here, but this is so sweet. Annie does not mind one bit. And they are having the greatest time. This is the best playground that they've ever had. Oh my goodness. She doesn't mind one bit. Oki's a little confused. Ernie as well. Oh, she's like a little bit to the left. Don't jump on my head. You're pinching me with your hooves a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at him. <laughs> She's like, you can do it. Just don't get so close to my head, sweetie. There is so much magic that happens right here with these animals. And I love, love, love to watch whenever new babies come into play here and add a little something to it. Annie sure has evolved from the original time that she has come here to the sanctuary. Do you know, she has been here for five whole years already. Five years, Annie. And Ernie's been here three. And we have two babies. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Oki. Hi, sweet boy. I watched a video the other day of someone who made a special noise when they called their male alpacas. And it allowed them to sort of go into a trance and be caught. And it's very different. One day I want to try that. Not today. Not today. Because I don't want Ernie to come over and ruin my moment. And Oki walks right up to me. But they did show a big difference in demeanor between male and female alpacas and how males are typically more gentle and females are much more, <laughs> uh, mm, finicky. That's the word I'll use. Finicky. Timid, spooked, moody. Oh, are you humming to me? I like that song. Your whole head is out. Your whole head is out. Back it up. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, when I sing your song, you're very intrigued. <laughs> oh, you're a blessing. Annie, your goaties left you? Oh, they might have snuggled down right next to her, to be really honest. Oh, they did. They totally did. Look. They were taking a nap. 
Oki, you messed them all up. Oki's like, I'm hungry. Could you get up, Mom? Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> Oki, what are you doing to your mama? He's like, I'm trying to eat, but she needs to stand still. That was a really, really sweet moment. Those little bitty babies. They're such a playful age right now. I know that uh, Tilly's babies are down at Uncle Dan's. I'm going to sneak down there and go pay them a visit today, too. Hi, Ernest. We see that smile happening there. We have alpaca shearing that's going to happen here in a, about a month. It's a really strange weather pattern right now. We're 85 degrees here in February. And that's very abnormal for us. It's normally the coldest month of the year. And it's already 85 degrees, which makes us fear this summer. Hoping it's just a fluke. We do have a cold front that's blowing in today. That's the wind you're hearing. So it very likely will... Well, I know it's going to bring some cool nights that are coming up and that will make the alpacas very happy. We got geese bathing out here, swimming. We got ducks making their way into the pond. I just uh, was in the stall and saw that um, there's a couple of duck eggs in there that I will pick up. We don't eat any baby ducks. Just a beautiful day here at the sanctuary. Ernie, I just want to know if Ernie's going to let those babies do the same thing. No, nope, those babies are going to lay down. They don't have the same love for Ernie as they did for Annie the nanny. That's what we used to call her, especially when Shirley had Laverne. I witnessed Shirley introducing Laverne to Annie, putting her right in front of her and pushing her to Annie and saying, here, look what I did. I captured on video, and that's one of my most favorite moments here on the sanctuary. And watching Annie be a mom has been a joy, but there's something special when another type of animal, aka a goat or a baby pig or whatever the case is, starts to interact like they just were today. Oh, hi. You got your belly full, so now you're ready to come back and hang out with me? I love you, okie dokie. I love you, okie dokie. <laughs> it's going to be so sad to watch him get shorn this year. Because I think it's going to change his demeanor. Like he's going to lose a little faith in us. Because right now he comes to us on his time. And he wants to do that. But we've never like put him in a situation where we had to put medicine down his mouth or anything like that. So kind of scary to think about. But, <laughs> you're so sweet. Can you be sweet to those goaties? Yeah? Okay. I love you. Thanks for booping me. Boop. Boop. <laughs> All right. Back to work, Ernest. Back to work. <laughs> 